Hey there, YouTube. Uh, this is Vargas, and I am back again with the last part of uh, the epic DVD hauls that I got through Power Movies. Um, so let's get started. Picked up this one. Um, I thought it was something different, or maybe like a musical. It might be actually a musical, but it, it looks weird. Uh, and it's the pirate movie. No, not Pirates of the Caribbean, or that other pirate movie uh, that was uh, an adult... A <laughs> pirate movie. This is uh, Christy McNichol and Christopher Atkins, and the pirate movie. Uh, it's yes, it does say that it's the ultimate musical comedy. Uh, so it's a uh, a musical pirate uh, movie. So I haven't seen that. Picked up a uh, SpongeBob SquarePants the movie Sponge on the Run. Uh, there's. Three SpongeBob movies. Um, never was super big into SpongeBob. Uh, my kids do like SpongeBob, and that's similar for a lot of kids. They really like the thing. Um, I, I don't. I, I've never gravitated to SpongeBob, but uh, the movies are pretty cool. Uh, the first one is is okay, but the second one that I that I saw, uh, the one with Antonio Banderas, I thought that was pretty cool. And saw this one, and the animation's very, very interesting. Uh, and I liked this one. Because uh, uh, the uh, the king Poseidon steals uh, Spongebob's snail. Because he uses it to keep himself young. So they go on this adventure, and then Keanu, Reeve, uh, Keanu Reeves pops up as a sage. And he's trying to guide them. And, and then they're kind of like retconning the story, because it shows Spongebob, uh, Sandy... Patrick and Squidworth uh, meeting when they were kids. And uh, I don't remember. I don't think that actually happened in the canon, but it's still a good movie. It's a fun movie. The animation's pretty cool. And again, it has Keanu Reeves, so that was that was awesome. Picked up the DVD of Birdman. I have the Blu-ray. And I don't remember if it's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack, but just to make sure, I picked up the DVD of Birdman. Great movie. Great, great movie. I, I really dug it. Um, a lot of people say was say were saying that this is uh, Michael Keaton's comeback, but Michael Keaton uh, has never stopped acting. He's still been doing, but um, it's his first uh, like movie in a while that caught attention, I guess. So, so I've always been a big Michael Keaton fan uh, from you know Beetlejuice, Batman. He is still to this day my Batman. I got super, super hyped to see him in uh, the Flash. As Batman, so yeah, super happy to get this. Uh, for my never ending Disney collection, I picked up uh, a couple of things. Uh, this one I've never been able to come across, and uh, it tends to happen that when you s are trying to hunt for a movie, you never see it, but then after you get it, you start seeing it pop up. So that was the case with this one. But, uh, been looking for it, finally got it, and it's Heavyweights. I don't know how many people remember Heavyweights, but this was pretty cool, pretty cool. And, uh, super happy to add this one at last to the collection. Uh, there's still one more, uh, Disney movie that I'm actively hunting for. It was called Smart House. It has, uh, Katie Seagal, who played Peggy Bundy in it. Uh, she does the voice of this... How an intelligent house that eventually goes a little crazy, and uh, that's the one I, I want to get. And I want to get the rest of the Halloween Town ones, but uh, plus the, the more recent uh, cartoons that came out. And I picked up one of these tins. Uh, um, whenever I come across them, I pick them up, and it's the Walt the Disney tr Walt Disney Treasures tins. Uh, I'm still missing a bunch of the Donalds and uh, uh, the Goofy one. But this one has El Feco Baca and the Swamp Fox. So the uh, I don't know if these are um, Disney TV shows or movies that they did. But I really like these tins. And uh, they come usually come with a bunch of stuff. I didn't even check if this one had uh, the little extras. Yeah, they do. They have a whole bunch of inserts. And they have the two discs there. So... It's a Disney curiosity if you're a Disney collector. Uh, getting these tins are pretty cool. But the best ones to get are the Mickey Mouse, the Plutos, 
the Donald Ducks and the one goofy one that they released. Uh, I I need the goofy one. I I don't have that one. Picked up from uh, I picked up uh, Out for Justice, which is a Steven Seagal movie that I really needed, and I picked up this one because it was in the budget bin. Uh, uh, Belly of the Beast, uh, one of his later Steven Seagal movies. But uh, yeah, the Steven Seagal is uh, up until Under Siege. I really liked him. Then he started getting uh, kind of weird, and then he got really weird. But I still need to pick up The Patriot, uh, where he fights terrorism uh, and a, a virus that they release with the power of flowers. And uh, so I, I need The Patriot. But I have this. Uh, picked up the two disc collector's edition DVD of No Time to Die. The last James Bond movie as of James Bond movie as of now. Uh, they finally capped Daniel Craig and uh, off him at the end in a very weird way. But yes, uh, he didn't want to do it. They gave him a ton of money and he came back and he concluded his run uh, as James Bond. But uh, I needed this one still sealed and with the slip. So it's a two this collector's edition. So now I have. The complete James Bond uh, collection from, from uh, what was the first one? From Doctor No, up to uh, No Time to Die. So have that. Uh, picked up Ant Man on DVD. He had this one on his um, uh, his low budget album. So I picked up. I have the Blu-ray, but it's just the Blu-ray. So I picked up the DVD, uh, so I can have both. Picked up the Wu Tang Clan collection. 25 movies on Blu-ray. Uh, it's not Echo Bridge and it's not um, Mill Creek. Uh, this was released, I guess, by the Wu-Tang. And it has uh, 25 movies in a single. I thought it would at least would be a two-disc set. It's not. It's a one-disc set. So I am, I am kind of worried that uh, the video quality will look like shit. Um... But yeah, it's 25 movies. I'll, you can pause it there to see which ones they are. But I, I am really, really doubtful that the image quality will be that good. Which is okay. These old martial art movies uh, work... Uh, that's how I watch them in low quality uh, VHS rips that would play on TV. So I, it, it's kind of like nostalgic for me. Uh, it says they're digitally remastered. So I don't know what, kinda, what they could have done to uh, fit 25 movies in a single Blu-ray. But uh, I couldn't pass up this Wu-Tang collection because I like martial arts. Picked up uh, a Criterion release. I, whenever he has a Criterion release, uh, I get it because I, I like collecting Criterion. And this is a, a, a unique Criterion. It's The Killers. But it also has The Killers. So there's two movies called The Killers. Uh... One's directed by Robert Siodmak. The other one is directed by Don Siegel. Uh, one uh, was released in 1946. The other one was released in 1964. So this is a very unique Criterion that has two movies but in a flipper kind of kind of ways. But it's Criterion. I couldn't pass it up. Uh, picked up this one. I, I have the Snapper Case release of this. This was a, a made for cable movie starring Angelina Jolie. Uh, but I have the Snapper Case release of that, but they released this unrated one. I don't know how much they can actually add in an, uh, in the rated one. Maybe a, a little bit more um, scenes of her of her boobs, basically. But it's Angelina Jolie as Gia. Uh, this model that was a big thing and uh, unfortunately Got addicted to drugs, and uh, you know, back then people would share the needles, and uh, she got, I think she died from AIDS. But uh, Angelina Jolie is great in this, uh, so unrated cuts, I'll pick it up. Picked up Whisper of the Heart, uh, a Studio Ghibli movie. This is the series that was released by Disney. Uh, for a while there, Disney had the distribution rights to Studio Ghibli. So uh, they released this two-disc set of uh, Whisper of the Heart. So I picked it up. Uh, picked up Street Fighter with Jean-Claude Van Damme and Raul Julia. 
Um, I, I love this. I love this movie. It's such a good movie. It's such a fun movie. Uh, it's a, it's not a bad adaptation of Street Fighter, even though, you know, they, they pick Jean-Claude Van Damme to play the American Guile. Uh, but Raul Julia is mesmerizing as, as Bison. And, uh, I already have the movie, technically. I have the Extreme release. Uh, and this is the Bare Bones original release of Street Fighter. No special features. Even that Extreme one doesn't have that many special features. But, uh, I picked it up because it's the OG Collector's Edition release. Even though, again, it says Collector's Edition and it doesn't even have the damn trailer. But, um... Uh, Picked it up because it's the original DVD release. Picked up Ice Age, The Meltdown. Uh, Disney bought uh, Fox and so the Ice Age movies, unfortunately, are now extinct. <laughs> there will be no no more Ice Age movies. But, uh, which is uh, disappointing because I, I really like them. Even though they, they were getting kind of repetitive. Uh, but, uh... Dawn of the Dinosaurs I really liked, and uh, even the last, I didn't like the one Continental Drift, I didn't much care for that one, but then they, they got good with the uh, the one with the, the meteor that was going to hit the Earth, uh, and I already have this one, but I have a, uh, a Mexican region release of, of Ice Age, uh, it's in Mexico, it's a Mexican release, but the title's in... Um, what didn't they speak in Brazil and in Portuguese? So I, I needed a, a, a proper release of the Ice Age because that that's weird. Uh, got this one, uh, the Batman 80th Anniversary 18 Batman Film Collection. Uh, I really splurge in this one. It cost me ten bucks, but uh, it's 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 18 Batman movies. Most of them I already have. Uh, again, uh, you can pause and see the movies that it includes. Some of them I don't have. Some of them I do uh, in the individual release. But it's it's Batman, who's my one of my favorite uh, comic book characters. It celebrates the 80th anniversary, and it has 18 films. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to get it. And I got it. Picked up... Just shoot, I dropped it. <laughs> Picked up uh, Into the Spider-Verse. Really, really cool animation style. Really cool looking movie with uh spider-man and it doesn't focus on doesn't focus that much on peter parker he dies and uh miles morales takes his place but he does meet up with other versions of peter parker uh and uh has spider gwen in it so yeah my kid really liked this one we went to see the sequel and it's amazing uh visual uh, uh, really really cool visual movie picked up uh Pee Wee's Playhouse Christmas Special. Paul Rubens, who plays uh, Pee Wee, unfortunately passed away uh, a while back. And uh, 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 this has been in his albums for a while, and no one picked it up. Uh, he had it there before Paul Rubens died, and then after Paul Rubens died, uh, he still no one picked it up. But um, he, he he put it on sale, and I was like, well, I'm going to pick it up before someone na snaps it. And I did. I picked up the, the Pee-wee Christmas special. So the, I, I have uh, Pee-wee's Playhouse. I have Pee-wee's Big Adventure. I have Big Top Pee-wee. I'm just missing that Pee-wee. I don't know if it got a physical release, but I'm missing that Pee-wee uh, movie that came out on Netflix. So, yes. Um, picked up Children of Dune. Uh, I have the uh, the original uh, re uh, release of, of Dune, the TV series adaptation. And then they released an uh, an extended unrated cut of that. But this is the sequel uh, to that uh, TV adaptation, Children of Dune. So yeah, I haven't seen the new Dune, but I've heard it's really good. And the last one, the one that I'm going to end this with is... Highlander, the ultimate collection, best of the best. Uh, this is a uh, compilation of the best episode, bo best episodes of the Highlander TV show that uh, focused on Duncan McLeod. And uh, yes, uh, I don't know if those got physical releases. I've never seen the Highlander TV show on DVD. 
uh, if it exists, well, uh, I'll have to track it down. But I, I personally, I've never seen it. Uh, so yes, I, I wanted this one, even though, uh, you know, the Highlander series is is really really bad. <laughs> it really suffered through a great high, and then it kind of like went down uh, with uh, the source capping it off with the source. Really, really disappointing ending. Uh, the TV show was good. I remember catching the TV show. Uh, but I never caught the spin-off though. But uh, yes, if, if they do, if the Highlander TV show is uh, does have proper DVD releases, well, I'm, I'm gonna have to track him down. But uh, as far as I know, it doesn't. So uh, this Highlander TV show compilation um, is the next best thing. So I picked it up. And it's pretty cool. The, the box is kind of beat up, but it comes with uh, with this and uh, yeah. Really, really cool. I, th I thought um, Adrian Paul, I think his name is, did pretty good as Duncan, Duncan McLeod. Uh, so yes, really, really cool things that I got. I think they're cool. Uh, I'm gonna go with this collection. It's also on Blu-ray, so but it's 18 Batman films in a single package. You cannot go wrong with that, uh, especially if you're a fan of Batman. Gonna go with Street Fighter. It's a guilty pleasure, but uh, it, I like it. I, I like this movie a lot, and it's a lot of fun. So, yes. Done with the Power Movies uh, DVD releases. Um, lots, lots of stuff. I know it's a lot of stuff that, to go through. But, like I said, I, I, I buy stuff, and then it, it, get, it eventually piles up. And when I meet him, I get everything, and I get to talk about So... I have content between the, those three boxes that uh, I still need to finish uploading and all of this. Well, I have content for a, a good couple of months, <laughs> uh, the way that I, I upload the videos. But uh, next time you see me will probably be a DVD update if I get to go to Dollar Tree and they have new stock or I hit a flea market or, or just, you know, waiting through what I got through Power Movies. But uh, I, I do, there will be a point where eventually I do have to uh, take it easy with the DVDs, especially after the three boxes that I got, because I, I am really running out of space, and I need to clear out stuff to organize the DVDs, and I need to actually sit down and watch a lot of this stuff. Uh, I, I do watch a couple of movies on Friday, but uh, I watch, uh, I can power through three movies before I get sleepy, and uh, I don't have time to watch movies otherwise, but I really do need to sit down and start watching these movies. Uh, my backlog list is kind of kind of large here at this point. But uh, thanks so much uh, for hearing me ramble there at the end. Um, uh, please, if if you like what you see, uh, or have you, if you've seen any of these blind buys that I shared before, or uh, the the ones I knew a little bit more about, please leave a comment in the comment section or a like. Um, if you like DVD hauls, uh, that's what I do. Uh, I do should I should probably do DVD reviews as well, but I, I do DVD haul. So uh, if you like that, please subscribe. But until I do see you again next time on the next DVD haul, uh, please take care during these still crazy times we live in, and uh, take care.